All right, so as part of the Purple Belt curriculum, we have first knife defense, which means defend against the knife. It does not mean that you always have to take the knife away. It means defend against the knife. If you have the ability to run, run. If you have the ability to kick their legs, kick their legs. And if you need to disarm the knife because you don't have the ability to run, like you have kids with you, then go ahead and defend that knife. Fight to the death. That's what sheep dogs are there for, to defend the sheep. Now, on the other end, I carry a knife with me every day, so I have to know how to use this knife. If I'm going to defend against a knife and I take away a knife from somebody else, I better know how to use it. If I'm going to carry one, I better know how to use it. Now, the first things first, okay? I want to carry a knife, not in some crazy, weird way. It's very, very simple. The same way I draw. Now, from here, the knife blade will go down the first line or the first ridge and knuckles after my main punching knuckles. So it's going to be main punching knuckles here, then the first ridge, second ridge, and then your fingertips. So right here, I will carry it at this position and I will always back it up with my thumb. Okay. Some people like to hold it here. I like to back it up because it allows me to move it just a little bit more. Now, these are just basic knife attacks. Okay. So from this position, I'm going to use a partner so that way you can see the uh, different strikes and we'll move closer here in a second. Now, first things first, number one, once I have this knife, I'm not going to assume this stance right here because if I am blocking and trying to slice, I will cut myself. So I will always put the knife in front. So I will fight southpaw if I am holding the knife with my right hand. So this hand is windshield wiping, covering for me, and this hand is doing the slicing and the sticking. So we're going through 12, and these can be compared to Kali, Armis, and Eskrima. So it's 12 angles of attack with the knife. So number one is across the throat here, and this is at four strokes, so it's an X. Number two, I do the same one, but on the back stroke, I always back it up because it can get knocked out of my hand, so I back it up two across the neck right here. Number three is across the stomach, straight perpendicular to the person. Number four, across the stomach, okay? And see how I'm backing it up on every backstroke. So again, one, backstroke two, three, backstroke four. Now, five is a straight stick right into the stomach. You don't have to say like one specific part, like the L3 or anything else like that. I'll get into that a whole nother day. When people start talking like that, that's a whole big sign of fake martial arts. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five. Now, six, we're coming over. So you can be up here around the throat area. You can be just above or just below the uh, clavicle right here. So that way you're around the lungs and the heart area. Don't think exactly hard, exactly long sink area, okay? So six, now from here, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Seven, we're coming upward now. Now this one, I wanna come close as I can to the diaphragm. So right at the very, very end of his sternum is what's called his xiphoid process. That's that pointy bone. If I can go in between that part right here where his ribs end and that xiphoid process is any point around there where his ribs end and come upward, I go from his digestive system to his coronary pulmonary system. That means if I can puncture through, I start getting acid into that pulmonary area and it starts eating away at the lungs, people die quick. Okay, so it's up hard on number seven. Number eight is using the knife not only as a slicing instrument, but as a blunt force instrument. We have the other end of the knife. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So I'll go around the bridge of the nose, the teeth, the jaw, the uh, clavicle right here. For now, the same with the bridge of the nose. So once we get there, eight, nine, I'm coming in as close and as far as I can through the legs and up the V line of 
the legs right here. So you see like a bodybuilder, they're saying, okay, I got that V development. That's where we want, because right there is going to be an easy access to the femoral artery. But with that being said, don't just go where the femoral artery is, go behind it. So I go all the way through behind and pull through one, then behind, pull through two. So this is nine here, up, 10 here, up, and see how I'm going all the way behind and up, not here, okay? That's gonna cause a cut, a nick, on the quadricep, okay? Not on the femoral artery. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 is straight across the trachea. Now that's hard to cut through, okay? But if you got a sharp knife, at least you can create a slight puncture, okay? 11, and last one is 12, and this one is a straight stab to the ribs, especially the upper ribs, okay? If I can get to those upper ribs, right underneath his underarm, right here, and get through, all I have to do now is twist. A bad knife is gonna stay stuck. A good knife, that twist is gonna be, allow me to be able to pull that knife back out because when you start sticking ribs, your knife starts getting stuck. So again, one more time. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 right here. And then just make sure you have this windshield wipe, this cover, this one right here. You can see how the line of the blade is going down right here. So as we move closer, right here, good. We can see the same thing and we'll turn to this slight angle so you can see it. So again, number one is right here. Number two is right here, so I back it up. Three, all the way across, not right here on the tip, all the way through, four, all the way through, five, see I'm working, I'm pushing with my hips, six, coming down and strong, seven, up with my hips again, eight, down, use your abs, use your latissimus dorsi, strike hard, nine, through 10, through 11. See, it's whole body, all the way right there, across the trachea and 12. Everything you have, like if you're throwing the hardest hook you have, remember, when you're holding on, you don't wanna be changing your grip too much because this blood that's gonna happen has plasma in it, and that stuff is slippery. It will cause your knife to slip out of your hand if you don't have good grips like this. So that, those little fancy knives with the dragons that people like to nerd out on, don't use them. Use a good knife. Okay, so one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Right there. And those are the 12 angles of a knife attack. Thank you very much.